Today I'm going to show you how to get the USB Loader GX channel on your Wii U menu. This will save you the steps of going into your virtual Wii, into the homebrew channel, and then into USB Loader. You can just get onto USB Loader right from the Wii U menu. So let's get started. For this tutorial, you'll need your homebrewed Wii with USB Loader GX set up, and then you'll need that SD card that you use to mod your Wii. So click on the link in the description that'll take you to this GBA temp page for the USB Loader forwarder. Scroll down where it says download and just click it. It should take you to a mega link. And here, just uh, click the download file and it should start the download. You'll also need an extraction software like WinRAR, which is free uh, to use this. So that's the first download. The next one, we're going to go to the next link in the description. It'll take you to the YAM Google Code Archive page. Uh, the third one down, just click on it and it should download. You can use any mod manager, uh, but I use this one, YAM. So that's basically it. So let's open up our SD card and get the files set up. So first off, open up the, the first link we downloaded and then go into this folder. You should see install WAD and Wii U. Now on my SD card, I already have a WAD folder and an install folder. But if you don't, that's okay. We're just gonna highlight all of this and just drag it onto the root of your SD card. And once that's transferred over, we're gonna open up the YAM file, click on the YAM folder, and just drag this apps folder right onto the root of your SD card. I already have it, so I'm just gonna replace the files. But once you have that done, go into your apps and you should see WAD manager right there. Now that's all the file transferring we're doing, so here's what your SD card should look like when you're done. You should be able to go into your Wii U folder, apps, and then you should see, where is it, HBL to ULGX. That's what we need. And then back on the root of your SD card, go into your WAD folder, you should see USB Loader GX VW WAD. In your install folder, you should see ULGX Launcher, and it should look like this. And then lastly, apps folder, wad manager with these files. Now another thing you'll need for this tutorial is WAP Installer GX2. That's what we're going to be using to download the channel. As you can see in my Wii U apps, I have, where is it, WAP Installer GX2 right here. If you don't have it, uh, I'll link a video where I install it and you can get it there. But basically, that's everything we need to do on the computer, so I'll meet you over on my Wii U. So over on your Wii U, this is going to be a two-step process. First thing we're going to do is install the forwarder channel for the virtual Wii, and then the channel for the Wii U. The reason we're doing this is because the USB channel from the Wii U menu runs off of the virtual Wii forwarder. So if we don't install the virtual Wii forwarder first, it won't work. So let's head over to the virtual Wii and get that set up. So once you're here, go into the homebrew channel, start it up, and then once your apps load, we're looking for yet another mod manager, yum. So click on it and load it up. A fair warning before continuing, you can only use an original Nintendo Wii remote without Wii Motion Plus for this. For some reason, wad managers can't seem to uh, work with the Wii Motion Plus ones or third party. So you need an original one. But anyways, just select iOS 249. Click A again on Disable. Click A on Wii SD slot. And then you should see that USB Loader GX WAD. So click A on it. And then you can see you can in install or uninstall. But today we're installing. So just click A and it should uh, be pretty quick because it's not that big. And it's done. So press A. And then the home button. And should take you back to the homebrew channel and uh, we'll double check on the system menu if it worked so there it is uh, let's just test it out before we go any farther so just start it up and make sure it works first I just had to switch the slot my USB drive was in <laughs> but there we go we're on it so uh, now that we know it works we can uh, Go back to the Wii U menu. I will meet you there. So once you're back on the Wii U menu, make sure you're running your custom firmware. I'm running Tiramisu, uh, so I'm going to go into the Mii Maker to the Homebrew channel. And then from here, we're looking for 
web installer. So once your apps load, scroll over and web installer. So load it up. You'll only be able to see this on the gamepad, so I'll just switch over to there quick. So we're now on web installer, so we're just going to click ULGX launcher, and click install, click on yes, and then here you can install it to your NAND or your USB. Your NAND is just your uh, Wii U's internal storage, so I'm just going to install it to my NAND. And then it should do its thing and start installing it. Should be pretty quick, it's only 8.3 megabytes. And then successfully installed, just click OK. And that should be it. We can go to the Wii U menu and uh, check to see if it worked. I'll meet you on the Wii U menu. And there it is, the USB Loader GX Wii U channel. So it's that easy, but uh, let's just test it out to make sure it works. So let's load it up. And then it should run through what it normally does when you go to the virtual Wii. At the Wii U's doing its uh, there we go. USB loader. Now it's loading straight into it. I'm not sure if I have it in the right slot. Yep, I do. There you go. So now you can play your USB loader games straight from your Wii U menu. So that's it for this video. I hope you found it helpful and I hope you enjoyed your new Wii U channel for the USB Loader GX. Uh, if you found it helpful, please give a like and uh, subscribe if you want to see more Wii and Wii U tour tutorials in the future. But anyways, hope you have a Merry Christmas and I uh, will see you on the next video. Take care.